Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to review how to solve Punnett squares. In order to solve a Punnett square, let's review some basic vocabulary. First, a trait is a characteristic that can be passed from one generation to another. An example of a trait would be eye color. An allele is a different form of the same trait. Having different eye color would be an example of an allele. Alleles are described as either dominant or recessive, depending on their associated traits. When solving Punnett squares, keep the following in mind. A dominant allele and a dominant allele equals a dominant phenotype. And this would be homozygous because both alleles are the same. A dominant allele plus a recessive allele equals a dominant phenotype and this is a heterozygous because you have two different types of alleles. A recessive allele plus a recessive allele equals a recessive phenotype and this would be homozygous. A dominant trait is always written with a capital letter. A recessive trait is written with a lowercase letter. The steps for setting up a Punnett square are as follows. Draw the Punnett square box. Write the genotype of the parents on the top and on the sides of the Punnett square. Fill in the boxes and then determine the percentages of the phenotypes. Okay, let's work an example. A red heterozygous flower is crossed with a homozygous white flower. Use a Punnett square to determine the probability of one of their offspring having a red color. Okay, let's first draw the Punnett square. Then we're going to write the genotypes of the parents. I need to look for information in the problem. One flower is heterozygous for red color. I will use the letter T, so I will write a capital letter and a lowercase letter. I still don't know if it if red or white is dominant or recessive. The next clue tells me because the parent too is homozygous white. If red flower has a capital letter then the trait must be dominant. A heterozygous genotype is always a dominant trait. So parent two is written as lowercase t lowercase t because it must be homozygous for the recessive trait. Three, I'm going to fill in the boxes. Okay, now let's see what the chances are a trait will appear. Anytime you see a capital letter, this trait will appear. And recessive traits only appear when you see two lowercase letters. So you have dominant, dominant, which is two out of four or fifty percent. The offspring will have red flowers. Recessive, recessive, which is two out of four, which is fifty percent. The offspring will have white flowers. So there we go, setting up a Punnett square in genetics. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.